The Maltese Seed Zoo, also known as the Malshi or Maltese Zoo, is a mixed breed dog which is a cross between the Maltese and a Seed Zoo. Malshi was originally designed to be a low shedder, making them a popular companion for those who suffer from allergies. But these dogs are much more than that. They're great with kids and are content to cuddle up on your lap at the end of the day. This is a designer dog who fits in with any family and lights up every room. These pooches will grow very attached to your family and want to spend every second around you. If you're looking for a loyal and loving canine companion, Malshi could just be the right breed for you. But before you go and get yourself one of these pups, here's a list of top 10 interesting facts about the Malshi that you gotta know. But now before we get to the list, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Malshi owners on this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these adorable dogs from the Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their Origin One of the major benefits of owning a Malshi is that you don't have to worry about their shedding, which is exactly what they were made for. Malshis were first bred in the United States in the 1990s to be lap dogs that could be tolerated by those with dog allergies. The fact that their fur does not make a mess was also a big plus. These cute puppies have been a big hit in Australia since they were first introduced, and now there are even second-generation Malshis made by breeding unrelated first-generation dogs. The Malshis are also making waves in North America, and it probably won't be long until they take over the world. But that's only telling a small part of their story. To really know where the Malshi comes from, it's important to understand the history of their parent breeds. The Situ is of Chinese origin, bred for Chinese emperors, probably by crossing the Lhasa Apso and Pekingese. Shizu stayed in China until 1930s, when they were further refined by breeders in Peking and England. Maltese, on the other hand, are ancient dogs traced back to Phoenicians in Malta, who were empire builders and ruled the Mediterranean before the rise of Greece. They kept their royal status to the rule of Greeks and Romans and became popular with Chinese breeders after the fall of Rome. As a modern hybrid, Malshis are not recognized by any renowned kennel clubs or other international breed organizations yet. Number 2. Their Physical Appearance One of their parent breeds, the Maltese, has a long white coat and a black button nose, while the other parent, Shih Tzu, has royal heritage and wears a silky double coat like a luxurious robe. When these two dogs are crossbred, the result is a tiny, affectionate dog that looks like an animated stuffed animal. Malsi adults tip the scale at 6 to 12 pounds and they're just about 10 inches in height. They can have a variety of coat colors thanks to the Shih Tzu side of the family. These include white, brown, gold, black, and even blue. The color combinations are seemingly endless. But remember that Malshis are crossbreeds, so you won't find a standard that determines what these dogs should look like. Even Malshi puppies within the same litter can vary in appearance. Number 3. They are the best lap dogs If there was a trophy for the best lap dog, the Malshi would be a solid contender. Both of the Malshi's parents are known cuddlers, so naturally the Malshi ranks in the top in the affection department. Sweet, loving, and devoted to their family, the breed is an absolute joy to be around. These dogs are also fiercely loyal and have earned the title of Felcro dogs. They tend to follow their people around wherever they go, so if you're not down with a doggy shadow, this may not be the right breed for you. But if you're looking for a loyal companion who will love you with their whole heart and happily stay cuddled up in your lap as long as you want, you've found your perfect match. Number 4. They may develop separation anxiety Malshis don't need a sprawling backyard or a grandiose palace, but there's one thing they absolutely do need, and that is your undivided attention. Yep, that's right. Due to their love for humans, the Malshi does best with people who are around and available for most parts of the day. As such, you don't want to leave your Malshi pup alone for long periods of time because it can lead to their separation anxiety, which can in turn manifest in destructive behavior. So if you need to travel often or if you're out for the most of the day and have to leave your pooch behind, then this probably isn't the right breed for you. Number 5. They do well with strangers As a breed, the Shih Tzu Maltese generally likes to be around people. While their loyalty will always lie with their family, they love human interaction and will welcome the presence of strangers who will give them attention. This is why these dogs would not particularly be useful in protecting the family. They would much prefer to hang back and alert you to the presence of a stranger rather than act in an aggressive manner. But this is only true if the dog has been socialized appropriately. As a Malshi that has not been socialized adequately can be anxious and snappy if they are in situations or around people that they do not feel comfortable in. Number 6. They are best suited for a family with older children Malshis may not be the best fit for families with young children, as toddlers could accidentally hurt these small dogs. They also get a little bit boisterous when they get excited, which is why they do better in a household with older children who know how to handle and care for a tiny pet. As with every breed, you should always teach your kids how to approach and touch dogs. Make sure you teach your child never to approach your Malshi when they're eating or sleeping or try to take their food away. Number 7. They require moderate exercise Malshis are known for largely adapting to your lifestyle and how active you are. If you like to be energetic and go on numerous walks a day, then your Malshi will happily keep up with you and go with the flow. But if you're not such an active person yourself, that's fine too. They'll be absolutely okay with just 10 to 15 minutes of exercise a day. 
The requirement for moderate exercise means that they are fine to adapt to living in an apartment as long as you can get out at least once a day for a walk or a game of fetch. And if you have a yard, they'll definitely put it to good use running around and chasing balls. But make sure your yard is fenced in both to keep them contained and to keep other larger animals out. Even with a fence, be warned that these smart and tiny dogs can find their way out if they really want to. So they should never be left unsupervised. Number 8. Training a Malshi Malshis are both happy and smart, making them easy and enjoyable dogs to train. They respond best to positive reinforcement, so treats and praise for a job well done will have them mastering the basics pretty quickly. In fact, these dogs are such quick learners that you may find yourself moving on to more complicated tricks in no time at all. Potty training may be an issue with Malchis, so it's best to crate train them at an early age. You gotta start by crating them for very short periods of time and work up to longer stretches. Also, since they're so small, people tend to treat Malchis more like babies than dogs, resulting in stubborn and spoiled pups that are difficult to deal with. We know they're adorable, but make sure you don't fall into the habit of carrying your dog everywhere, especially when they're puppies. Number 9. Their Grooming Malchis will require much of the same care as their parent breeds. They'll generally have long, silky, straight hair, but in some cases, they may have slightly wavy hair too. Of course, some owners choose to have their mushy clipped into shorter, more manageable locks. That said, you will still need to brush their fur daily in order to prevent tangles and matting. You'll also need to clean the area around your mushy's eyes as they're prone to tear stains. The rest is just basic care. Make sure you clip their nails every two to three weeks, and if you hear your dog's nail clicking on the tile floor, just know that it is time to trim their nails. And don't forget to brush their teeth daily to prevent tartar buildup. Number 10. Their Health Like most small dogs, the Machi has a long lifespan. These canines can live up to 12 to 14 years. They're fairly healthy dogs, but both parents have some common health problems that Malchis may be prone to as well. For example, Shih Tzu and Maltese both commonly deal with patellar luxation or a slipped kneecap. Shih Tzus may also deal with hip dysplasia and they can also have some eye problems including cataracts and progressive retinal atrophy. However, the Institute of Canine Biology says mixed breed dogs are typically less likely than their purebred parents to have genetic disorders. But even then, make sure you take your mochi for regular veterinary checkups before any of the symptoms begin to show. Also, many small breeds can be prone to dental problems, so along with daily brushing, it's a good idea to talk to your vet about how you can keep your dog's teeth healthy and clean. Alright folks, with that we've come to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Malchi. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already own one of these adorable dogs, let us know about their unique traits in the comments below. Please leave the video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends and family as well. For more interesting facts and in different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.